Good morning, Year 7s. Right, so we get to start a brand new unit today. Um, I'm really excited about it, actually. I love this unit. It's called Constructions. And essentially, we're going to spend several lessons drawing a whole bunch of pictures. Um, they're not just ordinary pictures, though. They're going to be mathematically beautiful pictures. And I'm really excited to do them with you. They're really cool. So you will need your math set. Well, at least the ruler and protractor for today's lesson. So I just put the picture of the Oxford one in the corner up there that I told you about last week. Um, but any math set will do as long as you've got a math set. The three things that we need are a ruler and a protractor and a compass. So please make sure you've got those three things. Um, yeah, so before we start, I also want to say you did so well on the tests, guys. My word, you've you've clobbered those. So really good revision. That's really come through how hard you worked and how much revision you've done for that test because it wasn't easy and your results were really good. So yeah, good work. Give yourself a pat on the back, my lovelies. That's such a good, such a good test result that we've got this year. So yeah, All right, anyway. Um, so moving on to constructions. Now this is really cool. I love constructions um, because, it, well, back before computers were super prolific in everyone's life every single day, which is, to be honest, a little bit before my time even, it's, um, there used to be this career that was called drafting. Now, that career still exists, but it's on the computers now. But there's these people that would be drafters, and what they would do is they would actually draw the blueprints and draw the scale diagrams that builders would use to build houses and buildings and offices and all that. And I just think it's a really cool, neat career because, well, there's a picture of a lady doing it there, and there's a picture of kind of what they draw with the compasses on top and everything. And, um, um, it's a really neat career because it's these people were kind of half engineers but half mathematicians but then also like half uh, artists so yeah they were like three halves of a person so it was really cool and they used to they used to do all these really cool drawings and so we're gonna get a chance to do to do some beautiful drawings of our own so here we go. Um, before we start you need your rule and your protractor so go get that out if you've not got it out yet push pause and go get it pause. Okay, good. And now you've got it. Book out and ready. And here we go. Okay, check out this triangle I've drawn. Can you see it's rubbish, right? I've just drawn it freehand without a ruler or anything. And that's not four, that's not five, and that's not 40. I just kind of made them up and labeled it like, like what you'd normally do in maths when you draw a triangle. Now what we're going to do though, is we are going to actually make this thing perfect. Now I've never tried this online before, and I have a feeling that it will work. So fingers crossed, let's have a try. We're gonna have to draw it online accurately together. So here we go. I've got here that same triangle and we're gonna try to draw it. Here's what I'm gonna say. See the bottom four centimeters? I've got this snazzy ruler and I'm gonna put it there and I'm gonna use my ruler to make a perfectly straight line that's exactly four centimeters. So let's do it. Let's go and get our pan out. So I'm just getting out my pan. Oh no, I forget how to do it. Insert shape or shape. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, so there you go. And with your pencil, you have drawn a perfectly straight line that's exactly four centimeters. Make sure you're using the centimeter side of the ruler and make sure it's incredibly accurate. So you can tell mine's actually well, probably almost a millimeter too long. I might try to shrink it a bit, but it's a bit tricky on the computer, to be fair. But I bet you could have yours as perfectly accurate. Oh, yeah, I'm happier with that. So that's exactly four centimeters. Cool. Now, that's that part done. Ruler away. And here's what we're going to do next. We need to get the 40 degree angle in. So when you do these, kind of just try to go to things that are touching. So you see how the four was along the bottom and the 40 is touching it between it and the five. It's the next thing to do. So we're going to get our handy protractor, which not everybody is all the way happy with using all the time, I have to say. So here's what we do to use the protractor really accurately. Can you see this um, circle thing in the middle? And it's kind of like a target. It's a bit like... I, I don't know, like, I know, I know that you guys are far too young to have played, like, shooting video games. I know that for sure, so you definitely wouldn't know what I'm talking about if I said it's like a video game crosshairs, like in Borderlands or Call of Duty or something like that. It's, well, actually, yeah, it's exactly that. So it's like a target. So here's what we're going to do. See how it's in the bottom right corner that we're looking at? Can you see that this red dot that I've just put in the corner over there will match up here to that edge? Here's what you're going to do. You're going to grab your protractor and you're going to put it 
so it lines up perfectly with the little dot. But not only that, see this black line, the bottom most line, make sure it matches up with the line that's under it. So that's pretty good the way I've got it there. Cool, actually that's perfect. Okay, now see our blue line goes out toward the zero. On yours, the protractor will be, it will be inside the protractor, or it will be outside the protractor I would think because I've got my protractor blown up really big. But yeah, can you see that the, um, that the numbers that we're using are the outside numbers because if you follow the blue line along, um, the zero is on the outside, not on the inside. The 180 is on the inside. So we want to use the zero. So the angle we're after is 40. So what you do is you grab your pen and you put a little mark and remember how we're using the outside ones to 10, 20, 30, 40 up there and just put a little mark. Boom. Got it, got it? Cool. Once you've got that, tractor away, ruler up, and it's supposed to be five centimeters. Now here's where, here's where it's gonna get tricky for me. It's supposed to be five centimeters, so put your ruler so that it goes through both of the points. Ooh, I hope I can do this on the computer, I really, really do. And, oh, it's close, it's close, it's close. Yeah, oh, per I think I've nailed it, guys, yeah! Cool, and then you just take your ruler, and what you're gonna do is you are going to draw in that final line for me. So five centimeters long, a shaboom, up like that. And get it right to the nearest millimeter. Perfect. Cool. Um, when you got that done, your ruler can go, oops, your ruler can go away. And that's what we've got. Now you might think, oh no, there's nothing left for that last side. But actually there is something left for that last side because um, it's a triangle. It only has three sides. So you can just finish it off. So insert shape, I mean, use your ruler. And here we go, shaboom and shaboom. Look at that beauty. If you have got this guy here, you should be well pleased with yourself because you've definitely got the idea. Now that is a construction um, because it's actually perfectly constructed. So super duper good work, lovelies. Okay, step harder, boom. Check this out. Eight centimeters, six centimeters, and then this wonky triangle on the top. Now, if you're up for a challenge, uh, go ahead and push pause and try this all by yourself, and then you can resume it and, and maybe skip through my explanation if you're really quite good at it. But if you'd like, um, if you'd like to do it with me, let's do it. Cool. So step one, start with somewhere that's nice and easy. So I'm going to start on the floor here at the six centimeters. Get our ruler ready. And here we go, six centimeters, perfect straight line. So use your ruler and insert shape line and go exactly six centimeters. So here you go, boom, six centimeter long line, correct to the nearest millimeter. Like if you even get these slightly wrong on your exam at GCSE, because believe it or not, this is a GCSE topic. If you get it even slightly wrong, you won't get any marks for it. So you have to be really accurate. Cool, so there's our line. Next thing that we're gonna look at is this little square in the corner. Now you know that means it is how many degrees? That's right, 90 degrees, super sevens. So 90 degrees in the corner. Um, if you've got the grid paper, you, you can be a little bit of a cheater and just go up the grid lines. But if you're going on white paper like I am, you're gonna have to use the protractor here as well. So line up the crosshair, just like if it was a video game, even though you'd never play a violent video game, definitely not. But we'll line that up just like that. And here's our little tick up at 90, so I don't get confused. Here we go, 90 degrees, little tick up there. And move this guy away. See, they're fun, aren't they? It's just something, it's something nice to do, this lesson is. And it should be eight centimeters, so let's do it. Eight centimeters. So I'll put my eight there. I've got to get all the way up to the zero. And here we go. Let's do it. Um, use your ruler. You've already got the ruler there, so you can draw straight lines. And here it is. Here's my here's my attempt at a straight line. Boom, I think. Oh yeah, nearly, nearly. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, sneak it over one space. Oh, sneak it over one more space. Perfect. There we go. Um, yeah, and there's your eight centimeters. Now again, you might be thinking, oh no, this side here, this long side, hasn't got it labeled. But as you know, my lovelies, 
all you got to do is finish off the triangle insert shape line and cool cool that's not bad for the first time ever trying this on a computer i have to say i think we're doing all right here perfect so that's it that's the bottom part drawn now the top part is proper wonky though now with the top part it doesn't tell us any side lengths all it says is those are 60 degrees and you might be thinking, oh no, how do we do, how do we deal with that? Well, I'll show you actually. It's a bit easier than you think. If you just mark on the 60s, something kind of cool happens, to be honest. So let's see. Right, so here you go again. Line it up. Target goes right along there. Bottom line should be matched. This line here needs to be matched up perfectly with the blue triangle line, which I think is that's pretty perfect and here's the deal buddy buddies um 60 degrees oh no my spotify has popped up ah, okay sorry it's still nah oh there it goes okay so uh, uh yeah so that's 60 degrees so 60 degrees here's what you're gonna do it's just over here so pens 60 degrees um can you see how the zero's on the inside now that means we're using the inside numbers. So we go out to here. So even though it looks like we put the tick at 120, you gotta remember that we're using the 60 numbers. Now, that's all we got really. It doesn't tell us how long that line is, so we can't really draw it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna whack the other 60 on as well. So let's line it up down here. Um, and there we go. Don't fight me, protractor. Get right in the right spot. There you go, perfect. Okay, and so the other 60, well, I'll do it in a green dot, is there. Right, oh, because we're using the outside numbers, you see, because the blue line goes through the zero on the outside. Now, oh dear, we're kind of scuppered here because we can't really draw any lines in um, just because that doesn't tell us any lengths. Now, I'm going to tell you a secret. These constructions are super cool, and this is going to be your first time ever doing what's called a construction line, which means you go from this point through the red, just a really kind of longish distance. Now do the same thing again. Go from this bottom point here through the green in kind of a longish distance, and boom, you've done it. That is absolutely perfect. If we were to look at it, we've absolutely recreated that perfectly. Six centimeters, eight centimeters, uh, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. And well, what do you think that one would be? Well, 60, 60, and 180 in a triangle. Oh, so 60 degrees as well. We've actually created an equilateral triangle, which is really, really neat too. Um, yeah, and you've just created it. See these guys here? I'm going to show you something cool as well. These guys here, where the lines are too long and they go out to the outside, don't rub them out, okay? Because they're called construction lines, and they're worth part marks if you got something wrong. So don't erase them just because they're not part of the picture. They look really neat. And you guys wait till we actually get to do the cool lesson on this topic. Um, you'll love it. I make the construction line so beautiful with you. I can hardly wait to get out the compass. Cool beans. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, sweet. And here we go. The last one I'm going to get you guys to do is a net. Okay. Now, do you remember what a net is? That's right! If you said that a net is the thing that you'd fold up to make a 3D shape, you're exactly right. So here's what we have to do. If you have a look at our picture here, what we've got is it looks like it's a cuboid to me, where it's got a square base because it goes 3, 3, 3, 3, and then it's 4 tall. Cool, cool, cool. So we need to figure out how to do it. Now, I think... I'm going to be a bit naughty, even though I'm teaching you a lesson right now, so it's actually really naughty. I think I'm not going to construct it perfectly, lovelies. I think I'm going to leave that to you, and I think I'm just going to try to explain how to do it, because I think this one will take me too long if I was to, to do it perfectly. So here's what I think I'm going to do. If you look at the floor, you can see that that's the floor there, okay? I'm going to start with it. So in my head, I need something that's three by three. Oh, okay, I'll construct this part perfectly then. So it's gonna be, actually maybe it won't be too long, let's see. Um, let's construct this perfectly, insert shape, line, here we go. And it's three by, and I'm just gonna use the fact that it clicks under vertical. So that's cheating, because I didn't use my, protra or my um, protractor, but that's all right. 
Um, there we go. Insert shape line three by three. Boom. And there we have it, lovelies. Insert uh, <laughs> shape line over and insert shape line. See, I told you it takes, it takes me a bit too long. It won't take you too long to do this though. It's just because it's a fiddle on the computer, that's all. Okay, so there we go, buddies. And there's the floor. So what I would suggest, and I'm gonna go sloppy now because I think it's taking me too long and you'll get bored if I take too long. So I'm gonna get a bit sloppy here, but there you go. You can see that that blue matches with that blue. Cool, 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 cool. Now all you gotta do is get the sides on. Now I've got the floor. If you look at say this side, which I'm gonna call the front, this guy here, the yellow, can you see that he's three by four? So you know already that that's three so if you had to do the four, the four is gonna be the height. So this part here, see there it goes sloppy. And there, and there. And then so that three is already there and that's four centimeters. Now that wall is gonna be the same actually as this wall and the back wall and the other side wall. So here's what we're gonna have. We're gonna have the same each way. Now there's loads of ways to draw this out, but uh, this is just kind of the easier way, I think. I always like to think of the floor. I think that makes it easier if you think about where the floor is. And there's no sense making it hard when you don't need it to be, and this is a bit of a challenge. Perfect, um, and that's it. Um, except, one final thing. I've not got the roof on it yet. To put the roof on, it's another, because it matches up with the bottom, three by three. And so here's our three by three. You can put it on the top of any of them. I'm gonna put it there. And there's three centimeters by three centimeters. So that is beautiful. This shape would absolutely fold into that one and you're flying. So the main purpose of this lesson that I want you to know, or that I want you to practice, is um, to be using the ruler super accurately. So take your time and to use the protractor accurately as well. So you're gonna to have to make sure that you know if you're reading the inside numbers or the outside numbers and all of that. But if you can do this, you're flying. The only thing I'm gonna have you do today is to draw these one, two, three, four, five shapes for me, okay? So draw a picture of them, upload them on to show my homework. Um, I don't think it'll take too, too long because I know it takes me a long time on the computer but if you had a piece of paper, you'd just be flying through. So hopefully this is just a short homework for you. Cool. So fantastic work again this week, lovelies. Um, keep it up and see you next time, my lovely nearly eights. Bye, buddies.